guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me concert edition. I'm going to a concert later tonight, but they're coming to pick me up earlier. So I need to hurry up and get ready. I have like an hour and a half. Tone down this hair because it is way too poofy. And I have to do my hair first because I always like to do that order. I like to do my hair and then my makeup because then I have more time to do my makeup and then I don't have to worry about my hair. So I look a little bit oily is because I have an oil in my face. So by the time I do my makeup, it will absorb into the skin and it is the Josie Marion Pure Argan Oil. I started to use oils to give that extra hydration to my skin because I noticed that my skin was getting a bit dry and dull. So trying to give some life back into my skin by using oils. And yeah, I'm going to be doing my hair probably just curl it as usual. I won't try to do so many curls because I can't even find my curling iron that I normally use. It's like an inch and a half I have no or an inch. I have no idea where it's at so I have to use inch and a half and I have to tone down the furs with a straightener. So my hair's gonna take me longer than usual which I'm not excited about because I hate doing my hair. So yeah, I'm probably just going to fast forward um, after I explain what I'm doing because it's gonna just be repetitive and a lot of time and I'm just going to try to get it done as fast as possible. So I'm just gonna jump right in and let's get ready. So I'm going to split the hair first and it's so tangled. Um, I thought I detangled it but having long hair, any movement you do, your hair gets tangled so I have no choice. So I put half of it up so I can work on the bottom and my hair is pretty long so it kind of takes a lot of work to work on my hair. I took a shower and I had to wash my hair and I don't ever like to wash my hair the same day I'm going to do something. I like to wash my hair at night because then it kind of settles down while I'm sleeping and the, frizz the frizziness goes away so I have to tone down my roots a bit because they like to be curly. And what I like about this curling iron is that it doesn't go so high it goes to like 30 degrees because you don't really need it that hot so look it got me gets me some waves i'll take that i'll show you how i curl my hair i grab just like a thin piece but a good sized chunk and i start from the root and i drag it down so it kind of lays down those roots and then i start to curl outwards and then I keep going and then I wait a little bit right here and then I'll start to clamp down a little bit more see how a little bit less is sticking out then I roll it up then I'll go back and clamp down the rest until the end of the hair is in the barrel and then I just wait then it's curled so I'll come back when my hair is done because then my camera will get too hot and then I can't film the rest of the video. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. My hair is all curled and done and now I'm super hot because of the curling iron. And I have to pin this back so I can start my makeup. Get it done because now I just have an hour left. So I'm gonna start with my Fenty Beauty. I'm putting on some primer. And I have to use this weird, my hand weird because I cut the tip of my middle finger and I'm like babying it because every time I keep using it, it the cut reopens and it's not that big it's really small but it's kind of annoying when it reopens because then it's not healing and I'd rather it just be a scab already but no I keep reopening the wound so yay me so I'm using the Fenty Beauty in the shade 190 I'm gonna use a little bit of that then I am warm beige in CoverGirl. Um, my face is really light compared to the rest of my body. And like, I need to match the rest of my body. And then I'm using a pump, probably half a pump of LA Girl white, con uh, white foundation. Does anyone else really like um, mixing foundations? Because I really do. You always can get your shade, even though sometimes then it can get a pain and a be a pain because they never have your shade, you know? But... Okay. That's better. I love the smell of the Healthy Elixir. It smells so freaking good. So I'm so excited for this concert. It is Luke Bryan. I was kind of iffy about going um, because of what happened in Vegas, you know? But then I just thought to myself, like, 
you even though I was not there I was gonna go and it's just kind of scary to think that it can happen you know it can happen anywhere literally but you can't let it like cripple you either of not going and enjoying yourself and country music has always been so fun to me and it's just like a fun concert always they're always super fun and Luke Bryan is like really cool to see him in person and um, he's going to have guests, um, Brett Eltridge and Granger, I think that's how you say his name, Smith, and I've never seen them two, so I'm excited to see them. And I've seen Luke Bryan once before, and I was at the Verizon Amphitheater, and I had boots on, like booties, and we were at, we were in the lawn. Lawn is like the big area where it's like on an incline, and it's just grass. You don't have any seats. And then I took my boots off halfway because I was just so like leaning forward in the, during the concert and it was really hurting my ankles. And I just took off my shoes and I was just stand, standing in the grass the entire time. I love this foundation. So now I'm going to concealer. I'm using Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. And this is in the color Light Warm. I'm using a... Uh, Shop Miss A sponge. It's like their dollar sponges. I love this one actually. I'm going to do another Shop Miss A haul because I know you guys love them. And this time I'm going to try the products out as I pull them out. So like a try on haul with makeup. And I hope you guys enjoy that. Because I really do like shopping on there. I always try to find new things. And I have a couple things in my cart at the moment. But not enough to like do a haul. Or like a makeup haul because some of the stuff is not makeup and I need to find enough makeup stuff but some of the things I want they're sold out so I'm waiting to see before I purchase anything if they're gonna come back in stock so hopefully they will and then I can buy everything and do a haul for you guys cuz those are super fun cuz who doesn't want makeup that's a dollar and I will tell you guys when I hate it or something um, because it is a dollar and yeah, you're not really like wasting so much money, but who wants to pay for something that even if it's a dollar, if they're not going to like it, you know? So this time I'm going to try everything on and then give you my opinion so you guys can at least know if it will work or if it's just a fluke and it's just like cheapy makeup, you know? I will try to get that out as soon as possible. And then, oh, I just use Airspun to set that. I'm going to use uh, Laura Mercier to set my entire face. I don't like using Laura Mercier for my for my under eyes because I get really dry under there. I probably wouldn't have been dry today because I used oils, but I usually do get really dry. And then it just like cakes up, so I try to avoid that. I'm going to do my brows. Today, my, co my costume, my outfit is super cute. I can't wait to wear it. It's obviously the clothes that I bought for Route 91, um, but I didn't get to wear it. Uh, it's that clothes, so I finally get to wear it now. And it's not really like country uh, themed because I don't wear cowboy boots or cowgirl boots um, because I don't really like them on me. I think they're super cute on everyone else because my best friend wears them and all my other friends wear them and they look super cute with them, but I just don't like them for myself. So I have these sparkly Jessica Simpson boots I bought and hopefully they go with my outfit that I'm planning because if not I'm just gonna wear black booties uh, But they're so cute, but they're so cute and I can't wait to wear them I can't talk when I'm doing my brows. I concentrate too much. So I'm just going to uh, fast forward this part So my brows took freaking forever but I got them done and then I'm just using a uh, ColourPop brow gel to set them in place because if I take this long to do them, they better not be going anywhere. So I'm going to set my eyelid. I'm just going to do as natural as possible, but I know I always get carried away. So we'll see how natural I get. So I'm going to be using my It's Judy Time palette with Pixie and also my ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. This is like such a beautiful palette and the palettes that they just came out with oh my goodness i want them so i'm going to go in with this color right here it's called fancy face and blend that into my crease i think i'm just going to do a natural kind of eye and a wing i think i have time for a wing 
but I also don't know when I'm wearing it. And then I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called Screw It. I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Blend that in my crease as well. But this time I'm really just gonna put it in my crease in like the outer corner. So then I'm gonna get a clean blending brush. I just cleaned all my brushes. It took me forever and I hated it. But the soap that I used this time, because I normally just use dish soap. Honestly, it works really good and it gets all the dirt off of them. And um, I used one that was like a degreaser one. I guess it was, it just takes um, grease off your brushes, off, off pans and stuff. But of course I don't have grease, but it worked so good. It worked better than the antibacterial soap that I used. And I loved it. I used the least amount of soap possible and it cleaned them right out. I thought I was gonna use the Pixie palette, but I'm just gonna stick to this. And because I only have 30 minutes left, um, I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called Girls Bite. Love that name. And I'm gonna put this on my lid. Oh my gosh. So put this all in my lid. Then I'm going to use this shade right here. It's a bronzy shade it's called Level Up. I'm going to put this on the outer corner to blend that really bright shade out. So it's not taking up my entire lid. And it deepens up that corner up. Go back in with the blending brush. Blend the top out. I'm going to use that transition shade that I used and blend that out underneath. Whenever I'm going out, I don't like to be rushed, but I was so busy this morning cleaning and the time just flew. I'm going to use my Kat Von D first, but I don't think I'm going to do a wing after all. I think I'm just going to do a straight uh, line just because I honestly do not have time anymore. I don't know if what I'm wearing actually goes together yet, so still got to put it together and try it on. I just got it on my lid. This is what I get for rushing. Okay, let's try to wipe this off now. Cool. So cool. At least it's just a shimmer shade and I can just pop that right back on. And now I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown mascara. And I'm going to be applying some lashes. I'm going to be putting on my favorite lashes, as always, my Deep Wispies. And I've actually been using this new duo glue. It's a brush-on strip lash adhesive. And it's just a little tube. And I like this so much better than the normal duo. Not only because it's a brush, but this dries so much faster than the other one. So now I get to finish my face using my Hola Bronzer, as always. Going to contour a little bit. I have about 10 minutes. Then my NARS, of course. I find a proper brush. Brush it. At this point, I'm not really talking because I need to uh, rush and get this finished because I don't know what I'm wearing yet using Urban Decay All Nighter. Let that dry a little bit. And I'm using my Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve. And I'm going to put on my Sleek Makeup Highlighter. I'm gonna put the Champagne Pop in my inner corner. Then my Vivid Hot Lacquer in Charmer. This is from Maybelline. This is my go-to lip. This is the finished look. I'm gonna get dressed real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit uh, because I do not know what I'm wearing yet. So this is my final outfit. The poles are in and pants win. So I have mine from 21 Pants and I cut a slit in them. And this top is from From 21 as well. And then these boots are from Vintage Vogue, it's a boutique near me. So yeah, oh, and I have my Michael Kors hoops. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, crazy get ready with me. I'm super hot and done, and my camera's now about to die, my other battery. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.